Hello everybody, it's Tracy. I have a few projects to share with you today. Okay, so if you hear a noise in the background, it's my girls and the TV and all that. It's um, spring break. This is, actually this is the end of spring break and um, everybody's been home all week. So my last few videos have been a bit noisy, but it's okay. Alright, so what I have to show you today is a layout that I just finished today and two cards that I finished um, last night. And I'm going to show you the layout first. Um, I did a 12 by 12 layout of a picture of my husband and I. And we went last week, yeah, last Friday night, we went out to dinner and we saw a movie. And so I just remember to take a picture before we left and I remember to keep the ticket stubs and I was going to smash it but then I thought oh I may as well just make a 12 by 12 layout but anyway so this is this the paper that I used collage art by DCWB and let me see if I can move my camera so that you can see the layout this is the the layout Okay, and let me see if I can do better, guys. I don't know. You know what? I'm gonna just prop it up here on my little uh, easel. I think that will we'll be able to see it a little better. Okay. Sorry. Close your eyes if you get dizzy. Easy. Sometimes that bothers a lot of people. Myself, it doesn't, I don't usually get dizzy, but I know some people do. Oh my gosh, okay, okay. Here's the layout. I'm going to just hold this, this tripod. So, this is the paper that I'm, I use from the stack in the background. And what I like about this paper is that it is, um, it's just busy. And that's the look I was going for. And it just looks all collage -y. Well, maybe that's why it's called the collage stack, right? <laughs> so, what I did is I used one piece of paper on the bottom. Then I started layering. And I used a doily here. And I got this doily from um, Hobby Lobby. It's an 8 inch doily. And then I used my Spellbinder Grand nestabilities, the big ones, and I cut a piece of the designer paper out for that big scallop circle there. Then I just layered some more paper, matted the photo, made a bigger mat there. Um, this sentiment is the title for the uh, layout and um, I got that from the collection. Um, this little piece here was part of another piece in the collection. I just cut off the banner part. And on that banner part was this little bird. And I just fussy cut that out. Clustered some Recollections flowers. And then these are the tickets. We went to see um, Olympus Has Fallen, which was... I loved it because I love action movies. Love them. So I thought it was really, really good. Really disturbing. Quite disturbing. But very action-packed and exciting. I liked it. And anyway, I used, I got uh, Recollections Butterflies right there all over. And then I used Recollections Bling Swirls all for the trails that the butterflies are making. And let's see, I distressed my edges. Yum. I think that's probably it, you guys. That's it for the um, for the layout. Um, nothing else to say about that. Uh, I have a ton of fun making it, of course. I always love to make layouts. I don't know why I don't do them more often. But okay, so that's that. Now, what I have next to show you are two cards. 
and I made one just because I felt like making it, and then the other one I um, made for a challenge on, on a blog. Okay, so this is the one I made just because I felt like making it, and this is Anya Bloom's the name of the stamp and then the sentiment also came with that stamp and it's by uh, the Greeting Farm and I used a Martha Stewart punch to make the little edge here this is some um, lace on a roll from Michaels by Recollections and I used some Recollections flowers and some stickles there in her hair on the flowers on these flowers and the paper that I used for this is you know I have it I used just because my ye little yellow bicycle and that's the six by six paper I used for that okay and then on the inside that's what it looks like alrighty next this one I did for as a challenge for a blog and the challenge was to use a the challenge was called winged winged things so this is what I made oh and both cards are five and a half by five and a half inch cards by squ squares or squares and so for this card I used prairie chick by Bow Bunny okay just layered the cards, I mean layered the papers, and I um, colored, this is a uh, fairy, is that her name, Fairy Lucy, I believe it is, no, Abigail, her name is Abigail, Fairy Abigail by CC Designs, and I um, did a technique where you cut, fussy cut part of your image, and then the rest of the image is cut out with the uh, um, Spellbinders Nestability. And you can find out how to do that on YouTube because that's where I learned how to use to do it a long time ago. So I don't remember what video. But it's a few videos that will teach you how to do that. Including Amy R. She has one. Okay, so um, all of these are Wild Orchid Craft flowers that I sprayed with Scintillating Silver Lindy Stamp Gang. And this little um, sentiment comes from an Amy R. stamp set, and I don't, oh I do see it, this, no, that's not it, oh here it is, this is the stamp set I used, and it's called Winged Greetings Sentiments, okay, and I just cut it out with my modern label punch, used some crinkly blue ribbon there. And I used lots of stickles on her wings and her little flower in her hair. Oh, and also, this is uh, actually two stamps. This is the mushroom stamp, and then there's the little Abigail stamp that I uh, uh, masked. Okay. And then this is the inside. Just used some of the paper from the collection. So that's that. Those are my cards. Those are all the projects that I have to share today. Um, I'm going to be working on, I'm going to try to work some more on my uh, mini album tonight. So it's not even close to done, <laughs> but I'm working on it. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you all have a great day. Bye bye.